Get up. Move the arms a bit. Move the legs a bit. How's everyone doing? legs out a bit. Once the legs are shaking out, we can probably just take a seat. Actually, we're a little late on it, so we should put in a little more effort on this stretch. Yeah, so jam, the biggest thing is make sure you, that you're like sitting and standing and changing it on an interval. Standing for a prolonged period is just as bad for like blood clots and stuff like that. All right, it's more about being static that's the issue. You might consider one of those like uh, mats that's actually like unbalanced. That might help keep blood flow too. Just a guess, not sure. Look it up, verify yourself. I'm not a doctor. Exactly. understand but it's still about like if you're standing for four hours straight that's not great you're better off switching it up every hour or so yeah like back pain is not the only thing to worry about though we're sitting too long blood clot should be your most uh most worrisome thing, actually. Because lower back pain hurts, but blood clot can kill you. Oh, dude! Herb Sherp, you didn't have to do that, man. Yeah, thank you for hanging. Yeah, we got Divinity tonight. I think we got the whole band. Me, Worm, gotta talk to James. Yeah, we're just now finishing the stretch. Let me just check heart rate. Hmm. 
Yeah, once again, jam, that's the key. It's just all about difference. So you spend your time switching it up. I think you're better off. You know, give yourself like 20 minutes every hour to, to just like sit. Maybe 10 minutes every hour. Here's the biggest thing too, Jim. When you're sitting in those chairs, are you properly getting your butt all the way to the back? Or are you like kind of slouching a bit where like your butt kind of angles? Because I've noticed a lot of the people that complain about like ergonomic chairs not working, they don't actually fit them very well. So they end up like altering their posture to make sure like their shorter thighs aren't giving that like hanging off the edge feel. As someone with short stubby legs, yeah, it's the only chair I've ever had that actually fit me. Because it has a thing on the front of the seat that rolls down and gives me an extra like two inches of like leeway between my knee and the edge of the seat. So yeah, I don't know. This is a Herman Miller Mira. And I'm not saying, you know, it's perfect, but yeah, actually like paying attention to your posture in your chair can almost be as important as like the chair itself. I'm not gonna say I have no lower back pain though. That's why I gotta get up, that's why I stretch, things like that. Uh, I've heard there's another good one. I'm not slouching right now though. But yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Like my slouch in the chair is when my butt starts sliding me forward and I'm getting all like slumpy. Yeah, exactly. Or I'm like sitting here like, <laughs> like huddling up on it, you know. So yeah, not saying it's gonna be your fix, but I'm, you know, try putting just a little more like thought into like your posture as you're sitting most of the time too. trying to think is it steel series that makes a good chair no someone's recommended like a maybe not cheaper than herman miller yeah they're like a headphone company so that's not what i'm thinking of autonomous they do the desks. That's what I've been thinking of. Secret Lab. That's the one I was thinking of. Oh, Steel Case. Steel Case is probably the one I was thinking of. They're almost as expensive. Damn, yeah. Steel Cases are spendy, too. Yeah, I like my Mira. Okay. Yeah, I would say if you get a Herman Miller Mira, make sure you get the one that has like the feature for like the curling front, right? That type of adjustability is probably gonna be pretty important. I've never had the Embody, never even tried it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, my Mira has all the bells and whistles. I got it, like, half price at a used, like, furniture thing. But, yeah, it's got, like, the adjustable lumbar support and all that shit. So maybe that's part of it, too. Like, I don't know. For most of these things, it's better to get, like, every feature. Because you're already spending so much on it. What is this one all about? Though? 
Oh, it's just a slightly taller one. Honestly, wouldn't mind one of these, but like, taller. Like, I need some type of like, stool. That I can actually like, sit and play music with. Needs to get tall enough. Yeah, I mean, I really like this one. But once again, get all the features, right? The mesh for the seat. So good. So good. Anyone's butt sweat during the summer? I know, it's kind of gross, but just saying. Doesn't have to. It really doesn't have to. Some airflow on it. You can mount a fan directly beneath, right? I've I've actually thought about that. There's a spot that I, you can totally mount a little mini fan underneath the seat. It's just constant airflow on your butt during the hottest days of summer. Might be worth it. See, I'm a big fan of the mesh. You need lumbar support for roundabouts in Europe? How fast are you guys driving those things? <laughs> Damn, man. Oblivioners rallying. Anyway, I think share is a very important discussion. Didn't mean to derail too long. But passing parameters to routes. This is the part we care about. All right, so route.params. Where does that come through? Just comes through on route itself. Okay, that's easy enough. Like its own separate prop. Okay. And dude, perp sure. Thank you. thanks again for the bits. Appreciate that. And yeah, I'm thinking about setting up a Patreon too, guys. I don't know. Just in case, you know, there's people out there that don't want to necessarily donate through Twitch. I can get that. So one of the things I'm thinking about for the Patreon is, like, as I start making YouTube videos and stuff, we'll do, like, private screenings on Discord or something. That'd be fun, right? I mean, you can go straight through a roundabout if you're going fast enough, right? Just depends on if you're willing to, uh... Willing to get a little airborne. Nah, it's fine. You don't mind. <laughs> yeah, there you go, exactly, Jam. <laughs> Oblivion was like, eh, just fifteen dollar euro lumbar support or fifteen euro lumbar support, no big deal. Why do I need neck stabilization? <laughs> Fuck that shit. This 
want to check the rate again. All right, we're at about 80 after having some Red Bull. Yes, make sure whatever we're passing is JSON serializable, so no methods in the route params. And then deep linking becomes easy. We're going to have to start doing deep linking pretty soon. Pretty sure. Here's the thing. We should be able to just do React Native Web and launch people up. We'll have to really fine tune styling for the desktop. Probably even just separate screens, but we might be able to reuse a bunch of logic. Would we be able to prove VJJ wrong? And it's really, yeah, you know, proving me wrong too. Basically, uh, you know, doing a write once, run anywhere with React Native. He's never seen it done right. Neither have I. Could we be the one? <laughs> but we can try. Come on. So yeah, we'll worry about deep linking later. I think that's actually what we're setting up, or what we have scaffolded already, now that I think about it. Yeah, linking configuration is right here. Ooh, okay. So we're going to actually have to fix this at some point. But we're good for now. Yes, yeah, so they even give us some scaffolding for deep linking. I really like that. Uh, and yeah, sorry, last song on the album. It's a bit much. I think it's melting my brain. All right, here we go. Right, so we pass that as team ID. And then, yeah, on. Create team here. Oh, and wait, why is this yelling at me? Hold up, hold up. I think I like this now. In the types that they have set up for us from the scratch, uh, from scratch, instead of undefined, we'd end up doing something like that. Boom, and this is where we define what the params are actually gonna be. I get it now, oh my god. So that gives us actually like typing within the entire navigation context. When we go to uh, edit team here, we should be able to just know that team ID is part of the parameters. I like that. Okay. I like some of the types they have set up for us out of, out of the box. Like, super cool.
All right, back to what we're doing. Then. Let's shuffle this to the back. Creating a team is doing this. We navigate to here. We get to edit team. And here we also don't care about the context. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Get out of here, context. Alright, invited name we use. Team name we'll be able to edit. Subscription, we're fine. Collections, we need. Eh, no, we don't, actually. Functions, we don't need either. Current team we do need. Do that. Take in route. And yeah, what you up to, Skiz? would get the params from that. Oh. Well. Uh, work's been kind of crazy, so you barely exist these days? I'm sorry, man. Uh, just chillin'. Set current team. Let's do another input as well.
team leading the front end. Oof. It's all right. He'll nail it. Yep. But uh, that's the name of the game. You're good to go. Um, what stack are you working with? I could recommend a couple resources, depending. Oh, like you have to pick the stack? Okay, so that's like a mobile app. Are you guys gonna have a separate like web front end? Because if you're doing React Native, you might as well do React as well. And at least share, like, maybe some custom hooks and stuff if you need to. Eh, maybe not hooks, but it, uh, interfaces are interchangeable. I don't know. I think it'd at least be, like, easy for people to, like, transfer back and forth. You could use the same state management library, things like that. We have... that's outside the point of what Skiz is talking about, but are you just asking generally? He already has React Native defined, so now he has to think about something else for the front end. I hope I actually said thank you for your follow. I might have missed it. React Native is for mobile. Re React is for web. You can do React Native on web, but it's a worse experience. That's fine, Coded Cake. He already has his constraints so far. Yeah, if you're not doing a mobile app, you don't want to do React Native. Are you doing a desktop app? Like, why was Native... Yeah, I would say... I don't know, if you're doing it on a larger app, you should make them separate apps. I would say the mobile app should be separate anyway, right? It's going to have totally different constraints in UI. But yeah, just recognize that your state management library could be shared. Navigation won't be some of those things. Yeah, you just needlessly bloat your API or your application. I'm going to give it a shot for this, but this is a much smaller application, right? screens? How many pages? Oh, 
like tables in the database or tables like in the UI? I mean, if you're doing tables in the UI, I would definitely not use React Native. Okay. Yeah, I don't know, man. Use whatever you like. Let me put it this way. I'm going mobile first. I'm going to try the web thing, and if it doesn't work, I'm going to make the web as a totally separate thing. You guys are starting with web, and you might do a mobile app. I don't know. Totally different use case, so do whatever. that a controlled input. Oh, and hold on. I wanted this. A while. This is going to be is editing team name. I have these backwards. Whatever. Flip that in just a sec. H stack. All right, let's bring in H stack. Let's create that state for is editing team name. Don't need those. Do need collections. Don't care about subscription. We don't need collections on this. Yeah, there we go. At least not yet. Yeah, so let's create that state.
All right, we're back. That was a random drop. I noticed that your flick, like, chat came through. But my flick it overlay doesn't seem to be working. Let's try this one more time. Let me get another album going, too. Yeah, I guess uh, it just times out. Like, it loses the connection after a while. Yes, yeah, so we'll have to work on that. Hmm. Yeah, I think that's a little weird. It shouldn't break like that. Oh, I am breathing. Stupid watch. Kapow! Ooh, look at that one! Yeah, the Kapow nailed it. Alright, so... Right, we get the team, we pass that, we set the current team, we do this. So here we want to do set new team name instead. Current team dot name. And yeah, we needed that state for const is editing team name. Am I messing this up already? We'll do that too. And when we fetch this, we just do set new team name. Boom. Yeah, it's good stuff. We do icon and let's go look that up. What's up, Connell? How you doing? Hey, Anthony. Oh, this is early for you. Anthony from is now my screen with 32 
Yeah, good shout out. So yeah, what new feature were you working on? And how goes the uh, the monetization? I know, someone beat me to it. I think it's just uh, a product of November at the moment. There are plenty of JavaScripters, but November is typically when people end up doing like vacation, and, you know, blah, blah, blah. Some people do it beginning of the month so they don't have to deal with the travel of later in the month, you know. There's a lot of that. No, no, I appreciate it. Yeah, let me see if I know anyone who's going right now. Yeah, you're not wrong. There's a bunch of like mobile dev going and a lot of stuff, but yeah, I, I feel like English streams just aren't that, uh, there aren't that many of them right now. There's a lot of Portuguese going. Yeah, crazy. And yeah, what's up, Lua? So yeah, like, uh, what you been doing for, like, the marketing part? <laughs> there you go. And ooh, I was playing a bunch of MLB The Show last night, and I wondered, like, what was your pitch, uh, like, repertoire? Right? What, what were your best pitches? I'm curious about that one. And if you got to get going, I get it. No worries. Right? Were you a knuckleballer or something? <laughs> right? That'd be fun. I would doubt it, but, you know, you got a mean curveball. Couple organic signups. Sweet. Yeah, good work. Nice. And you have like a, a Kidder GG account on Twitter, right? You had a crazy change up? Oh, there you go. Just the amount of like drop that it would do, like right at the end or whatever. And yeah, I don't know enough about it, but. MLB The Show's a fun game. Working on getting that Babe Ruth card. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Nice. Awesome. I feel like uh, a good milestone on your personal one would help, too. Like, you know, not every announcement gets propagated to your uh, personal one, but, you know, I feel like, nah, you've been tweeting about that stuff, monetization, etc. Yeah, I'm just trying to think about marketing at this point, so, that's all. Thinking out loud. There you go. That's as far as like milestones of like subs and stuff. I was thinking more like major feature milestones. But yeah, I don't know. I don't know any, any better, just thinking out loud.
I mean, yeah, I have no no room to talk. Yep, I think we all got to work on it. Where do we see the list of supported icons? Working up a migraine? Oh, those are rough. Yeah, no worries, man. Yeah, have a good one. <laughs> Thank you. Musco, Busco, Busto. Yeah. I feel like it was a, a play on mucho gusto, but instead it's probably like must go busto instead. Probably messed it up, whatever. Is this all of them? Yeah, like, you know, improperly saying the Spanish. So, we're going to want to do that. All right, here we go. Oh, as far as your name? Makes sense. Can't take it with you. Interesting. We also need our team members. We'll let it sit for a sec. We'll see what happens. So, set current team, set new team name. Uh, this is a use effect. All right, so we pass the current team.
if we have a current team, we want to uh, get the team members. So this would end up being... Right dot uh, teams dot get memberships Boom. This song kind of sleepy times us a bit. Skipping. And what up, Code Spent, Mr. Sir? How's the music making going? That is a pretty giant yikes. Yeah, in a while, exactly, Code Spent. That was a giant yikes. Event. Okay, um, that's your MIDI controller having a lot of lag? Do you have a proper ASIO uh, controller? Or are you doing it through like MME or WSM or whatever it is? Because ASIO is the, the proper way to get your latencies down. So if you don't have one of those, you may want to get a board. It is ASIO. Mm. Not sure. No idea. Sorry, Booker. Um, I've never heard that about Windows not having genuine ASIO. Like, are you using ASIO for all? Or are you using it through, like, a proper, like, sound card? Right? Like a audio capture device. Through the focus, right? It should be pretty good. So yeah, I'd love to see an article about how it's not proper ASIO. And yeah, not saying I don't believe you. I'm just saying like, oh, I didn't, I was not aware. I was not aware. So we'll do that. Um, we'll say this is color three, 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 sure. We actually wanted it as a button. I mean, streaming is my current job. I'm technically between jobs now. I've got enough saved up to be fine for a while, and I kind of wanted to just try making a bunch of stuff. And I think I can do the YouTube and Twitch thing to a degree that, you know, 
pays the bills at least. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, they basically gave me an ultimatum. No streaming during 9 to 5? Or no job? Which one do you think I picked? Yep, exactly. The easiest decision I've made in a while. And I think we all know I was miserable doing that DRI bullshit. Miserable. So I was one, like, you know, being assigned that role away from putting in my two weeks anyway. See, so yeah, I wouldn't necessarily call this project my job, right? We're just, yeah, we're doing the startup thing. I got a bunch of apps I want to make. And I bet they can at least, you know, eventually pay some bills. We'll see. If not, you know, I'm giving myself about a year. We'll see. Technically, I've got four saved up. So, got plenty of time. Not really picturing myself able to buy a house anytime soon anyway. <laughs> there we go. Thanks, Giz. You need these more than I do. All right. So on press, we want to. Set is editing team name. Yep. Yeah, they're expensive. Anywhere you want to live, you better be willing to drop it. At least 500k, probably a million. Especially near Seattle here. I can move to Utah and get some shithole for like 200k. Which would be fine, actually. 